welcome back everybody. So it is morning milking. So right now I'm feeding the calves. You guys can see we put sawdust in there and they've made an absolute mess of it already. There are only two calves in here left. So two days after the last video you guys saw, we had four more calves within those two days, two each day I think. So we were up to 11. So that was the most calves we've had in a very, very long time. It was crazy. Brent was helping me feed them. We were late every night. Um, it was just crazy. So, but we sold seven of them. So right now we only have four. There's two in here. This little Jersey Normandy cross. And then there is a white faced Hereford uh, heifer over there. I think this one is a bull. And then we have these two handsome Normandy crosses right here. These are the best looking bulls that I've seen in a long time. Um, they are just extremely handsome, tall, long legged. This one over here is sleeping so you can't see it right now. So we do have to feed them before we get milking. You can see the girls are enjoying a nice second crop bale, doing it everywhere as usual. Um, but it was a pretty big bale so they've got a lot to eat. I'm going to feed this little guy because he's handy. Oh, there's the heifer. These two right here are pretty smart. They're actually the youngest, but they're still pretty smart. Um, those two bulls over there, not very smart at all. At one point, we had seven just in this pen. And when you're trying to feed a newborn, and then there's some older ones that actually know how to eat off the bottle, they spend the entire time hitting you and just sucking on your pants or really frustrating. So I'm glad that there's only two in here now and they know how to eat through a date. Brent just shut the lights off, so he must be out here with coffee. So hurry up, we need to go take a coffee break. I guess I ought to feed you first, though, because you have your pit. Well, before we have coffee, I wanted to explain to you guys. So most of the cows that are going to calve have already calved. We only have a handful left that will calve in the next couple weeks. Um, and after that, it's going to be a couple months before we have... After that, it's going to be a couple months before we have our next string of cows coming in. So, um, so that's pretty good. All together, we did have um, 25 cows calved. And every calf was healthy. I only had to tube feed that one Guernsey Jersey cross heifer there that you guys saw. Um, but she made it, she was fine, so everybody was completely healthy. All the moms were healthy. Um, don't hit her, okay? Every cow actually cleaned within the first hour, and that's the first time in a very long time that we've had every cow clean. They all cleaned perfectly, nobody's had an issue. We did have two slight cases of milk fever, but that was it. Um, out of 25 cows, so that's pretty good. We were very lucky this year. And the girls are all very healthy, so I did just want to tell you guys that. So I think what we're going to be doing today is, I'm pretty sure that Brent wants to clean out the free stall today and he also I think wants to clean off the pad so that we can get those girls outside because they do need exercise. They've been inside for around a month and a half, close to two months now. And that's really too long for them to be inside but it was too cold to let them out. We are going to be letting them out this week if we can get that pad cleaned off in good shape. So I think that's the plan for today. Hold on. I know, I'll feed you in a minute. Oh boy. Okay, so all done. Now we can go see what runs up to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I can't. Do it. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What are you doing? Are you checking the milk weight? Yep. Good. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I guess the cavalier's not coming this morning, huh? No. Why did you give up on this, you think? I don't know. He didn't come last week either, did he? Huh. Gave up. We never sell him anything, so. Mm. Nothing ever leads you. Ooh, he brought coffee. I don't know if you guys noticed this. Brian just turned the milk machine on. Um, we found a square bill by the side of the road the other day. I thought that the cows would eat it, and they will not. They won't even look at it. They're about the fussiest cows I've ever seen. So now it's just a bench to sit on. Ready? Yeah, I'm gonna duck the towel real quick. I'm gonna take two seconds. To okay. Duck. You wanna watch? Yep, I'll start washing the cow. Okay, be ready. Right so Brent just went out to dump the sawdust before we start milking. I'm gonna wash all the cows. I probably won't film much of milking because you guys have seen that before and it's probably pretty boring by now, but I did wanna show you 
We got one of our best jerseys calved um, early last week, and I just kind of wanted to show you guys her bag. Um, she's got a beautiful bag. Nice square udder. Just a really nice cow, so. We are just about finished milking. The second I pick up this camera, the cow starts slipping. Okay, so we're just milking out our last few cows. She is still milking a little bit, so. Brent is up getting another wrapped bale so that we can go around with that. Then all we have to do is go around with that bale, run the wash through the milk room, wash all the machines, hoe out the girls, bed the girls, and then we're finally done, and then we can get into the rest of our day. Pretty sure Brent just came back with that bale. Um, we're trying some from a different field because some of the ones that we've been getting haven't been the best quality. So we're trying to incorporate a better field, switch off feeding some of our better ones from a different field, um, and then feeding some of the bad ones out back. dirt all over my face when I was taking that wrap off. Um, so me and Brent were talking about whether or not the cows, we thought the cows liked wrapped hay better wet or dry. Um, and we agreed that we think they like it a little drier versus being sopping wet. Our cows don't seem to like it when it's sopping wet. So our cows prefer it kind of like this, kind of in between. It's a little bit wet, but it's not like soaked. So I think they'll like this one really well. So I'm gonna head around with that right now because they are patiently waiting. The girls are bedded. Um, Brent is out back pushing down the freestall. I have to go around with the Kubota and he's gonna push the crap in my bucket like we always do and I'm gonna carry it over and dump it in the pit which I'm excited to show you guys the pit. First of all I did want to mount my camera on top of the Kubota so I'm gonna be doing that and I also have to put some fuel in the Kubota. You can see this is just a pile of hay that the girls wouldn't eat so we dragged out here and Brent's probably gonna carry it off um, and put it in the pit so that'll degrade. He puts it in a corner and then we don't touch it until next year and then it makes pretty good fertilizer. Um, there is our load of sawdust Brent just dumped this morning. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to put my GoPro up on top of the Kubota but it's not working extremely well so... It was a beautiful day, but now it's windy and my nose is running and whew, it's cold out there, so I had to put my jacket back on. We got the GoPro strapped on the roof, so we'll see how that goes. With any luck, we'll get some good footage. Um, Brent moved my seat again. Jeez, I'm gonna have to fire him. See how he's coming cleaning up that.
we only put one in we do have another one that we could put on top of it but the crap isn't really that high and it's already almost springtime so we're not really worried about it there's a lot of manure in there to spread out so we're gonna be pretty busy come springtime um, I mean yes technically it is spring but as you guys can see it snowed a lot yesterday and we haven't really lost any of it yet but we'll see for this year is going to be cleaning up down here um, we're gonna we're, we have some people that want some dirt that's in there that's just fill that the DOT brought in because they didn't have anywhere else to put it so we told them they could put it in one of these and we're gonna clean up this one scrape out all the weeds and just clean up this whole general area those three bales there that are rotten um, just gonna do some cleaning up so I'm gonna need four-wheel drive for this so open that gate you guys can see the wind rip some of our flashing off the freestyle and the pad it's looking like there's more snow on it than we thought but I don't know we'll take a look at it you can see Brian out there pushing that stuff up but like I said I gotta go open that gate so plans. Brent thinks he can push out the free stall, so I may have not even had to come back out here at all, but um, there's a lot of snow right here. So yeah, um, this is definitely not going to happen today. I didn't realize it was this bad. Um, there's a lot of snow over there and also a lot of snow right there. I don't know if you guys can see how thick that is. There is Teddy the bull coming out here to say hello. Um, so yeah, it's looking like they're not going to be out on the pad for a while, but um, we may just have to let them out in the freestall because they do need some exercise um, and we'll just have to keep a really close eye on them to make sure that they don't get after each other. But see, a couple years ago we did have some metal sheathing put on the side of the barn. Um, it's just like a clear panel every once in a while so that it lets some light in there. Uh, we had to do that because this side was wood and just like the wood that's up top there, it was rotting out. So we did have to put some of that on it. He's making the trek over here. It's lots of snow, isn't there, buddy? They're just out here because Brent is cleaning out the freestyle and he has to kick them out or else they get in the way. He'll let them right back in once he's done cleaning out, but... So yeah, uh, looks like we are going to have to replace the edge on the roof there. It's pretty bad, so uh, we'll probably just get some one inch pine for that, I guess. So yeah, our whole plans for today kind of went but that's how it goes when you're on a farm. So I guess I'll shut the boat off. No sense wasting a lot of fuel out here. Say what? So, you got it all? You yeah, I can get it. I didn't think I could, but... Put me out here anymore? Yeah. Looks I like, good. I like having all of the pile at Tombow's better. Yeah. Hey, my drill is down by the cafeteria. Okay. And my battery charge is on the window. Okay. You get a lot of crap to spread. Good, look at the water. It's held back. Yeah, I know. Just like I was saying with the pile of hay out there, we push this up here and then we generally leave it until probably we won't touch this until next fall. Um, this pile right here we will spread out because it's been sitting for a year, but we won't touch this until at least next fall so it has some time to compost some of the hay that they waste in the freestyle and then we will spread it out. But it's a mite bit chilly out here, so I'm gonna head back and charge that drill because he wants to do something with curtains. I don't know, we'll find out. Um, so basically I just drove the Kubota out here for no reason. <laughs> I'm just having to break my full neck trying to get off this tractor. Okay. See if I can't avoid that snowbank this time.
was kind of a bust. We're definitely not going to be cleaning off the pad anytime soon. If Maybe if the sun comes out and it warms up like they say it's going to. It's supposed to be in the high 40s um, quite a bit this week. There are a few days that are going to be in the low 30s though. So hopefully we'll get some rain or something to melt some of that snow out back there. But I can't say I've ever seen it that snowed over before. But... So I'm out here in the freestall right now. You can see Brent has everything all cleaned out. We fed the girls, uh, well, I say the girls, the bull and the one heifer, we fed them a bale yesterday. And they haven't really eaten much of that yet. You can see we are using the square feeder still, so he's got everything cleaned out. We are gonna be getting a load of chips um, we, to just make sure we level off the stalls so they're not quite so crooked, and we'll clean those out, bed them, and then we'll let the girls out here sometime. Um, the next little while, we'll get that done. Um, as you guys can see, some of those stalls are pretty low, so we'll probably need to get two sawdust truck loads of chips to finish everything, but um, yeah, looks really good in here. Um, the bull and the heifer must still be outside, even though the gate is open and they can come in if they want to. That They did tear that broom off the wall that I had put there for them to scratch on. They used it so much, they ripped it right off the wall, so I'm gonna have to put another one up there for them. And this here, because they seem to enjoy that. Um, but anyway, obviously we can't clean off the pad today, so I guess this is going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below, and hit that notification bell so you know when any new videos are being posted. Keep it real, keep farming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.